All right, guys, we have Jorgen. Do you have any questions for Jorgen? Please raise your hand. Jonathan, kick us off. Hey, Jorgen, Jonathan Ramlikan, Five Reasons Sports. You started off your career undefeated. You took a few losses. Now you're looking for your fourth win in a row. What did you feel like you were able to learn in those losses to maybe get that second start in your career? Yeah, I I, I thought I got to the, the big league too early. I was 4-0. I was still learning. Uh, I was really after like 16 months, I was already in, in the UFC. And all those losses, I was just talking right about those. Uh, I played safe. I, I fight to not lose. And I end up losing the fight. Now I'm different. Now I'm taking risks. I'm 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 five to to entertain the fan. Uh, it's gonna be kill or be kill all my fights now. So I uh, I'm gonna have good time every time I step in the cage. Now you talk about kind of going for it versus playing it safe. How is it different preparing for a PFL season format versus just one fight? It, very different. Man. I I just switched three opponents in the last a couple couple of weeks. Now I have a different one. Uh, PFL, you have to focus on yourself. Focus on get better. Focus on become a, a, a better fighter overall because you 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 have a date and a location, but you never know who you're going to fight. That's what awesome. the way I'm looking at. Appreciate your time, man, and good luck when it comes this Friday. Thank you, bro. Hey. Hey, Jorgen, this is uh, Dave with Fight Bananas. Um, we just actually just had you on Fight Bananas on Maddie Levine's show. And I would love your first take. Uh, I know you're a trainer with Ross. He had a killer performance for Karate Combat in the main event. Did you see it? And how pumped were you that uh, he got in to keep that momentum going? I saw. I saw. I, I I did a last sparring session with him like a week before he flew to yeah. to Miami. It was brutal. The, that guy is uh, when it comes to striker. I think he's the best striker I ever I ever trained with. Uh, it was phenomenal. Work the body and then go up. Uh, and guys like that give me confidence. When I see him go down there and do his thing, I, I feel more confident. Wow, wow, that's awesome. Um, you kind of just mentioned it with the different opponents. Um, I know you got a tough fight, and every fight's a tough fight in front of you. But are you, is there a little, honestly, disappointment that you're not fighting the defendant champion, the main guy, the one that you maybe had to go through to win it all and receive a million? Are you a tad disappointed that he's not fighting uh, you on Friday night? Yes, I was definitely disappointed because to me, this was my PFL debut. And also, I was fighting for the belt. That was my mindset. I'm fighting the champion. I'm fighting for the belt. And I, I had already everything figured out. After I get it done, I will say, as far as I know, I was the PFL new heavyweight champion. But, you know, it is what it is. Everything, I think God has a plan and everything, uh, in the end, everything going to work out. In the end of the year, I will be the PFL heavyweight champion. Wow. Jorgen, appreciate your time. You're one of the good guys in the business, man. Great skill on Friday. Thank you very much, man. Jake. Hey, Jorgen. Great to talk to you. Jake Noaker here from the Scrap News. Uh, making your PFL debut, what are you most excited for? Uh, man, I can't wait to get there. It's been already 12 long weeks. Uh, I want to introduce myself to the fans and to PFL that uh, when, when, when they announce that I'm on the card, there will always will be a great fight, knockouts. I don't know if I, I don't know what I don't mind being the other end of the <laughs> of the punch, but I'm gonna force everybody to sign to fight me. They they will have to fight. And what's gonna mean more to you, one million dollars or the title? <laughs> Man, uh, one million dollars is definitely something else. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of money right there, man. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of money. <laughs> And uh, last question for me, man. Um, being your first fight back here in Vegas since the UFC, are you excited to be back in the fight capital of the world? Any uh, ill feelings there at all? Yes, I love Vegas. I have great memories here. I do a loss fight here, but I, I did one my contender series fight here. I have really great, great mem uh, memories. I, I live here. like I, I spent six weeks here getting ready for one of the UFC fights. I have really great memories in Vegas, and I, I can't wait for Friday night. I can't wait either, man. Thank you so much, and best of luck. Thank you, Ron. Eddie. Hey, Jorgen. Eddie Law from KSI Press. Um, it seems to be, man, you just can't keep the same opponent in front of you, dude. You, they, they keep sending these new guys at you. When you heard about this this latest one, Danilo Marquez, what was the first on your mind? I say, okay, 
they will be with me all the time. PFL, my manager, nobody have to worry about. It, it, PFL can give me a, a new guy tomorrow on my way to the to the arena, I will say yes. Because of, I think fighters should fight. I think if you sign with PFL, you fight it for a million dollars, you're in the tournament, which is we don't have many options, 10 fighters. You should be able to fight anyone at any moment. And with me, is I know people say they, they want to fight anyone at any moment, but then when the time comes, they don't do it. With me, is a guarantee. My manager know he have the 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 green light to say yes at all the time. So they give me a new name yesterday. I say okay. So the smoke from anybody that calls. Sorry. So the, so you'll take the smoke from anybody that calls. Anybody, because because to me, it's fight is simple. I, my game plan is always the same: is defend, take down, and knock them out. So it doesn't change. Gotcha. And last one for me. Um, you are very much, you kind of divide your time, it seems like, between fighting, training, and spending a lot of time with your daughter. What kind of uh, inspiration is she to you to get in there you know, and, and get the job done? Yeah, my daughter is my everything. Uh, when she born in 2014, my life changed. I, I see life different. I have someone to look at me, so I have to to set an example. Uh, I, I can't quit. So when 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 my daughter is around, I know I can't quit. Uh, even if uh, if things get tough, I know I have to push forward because she's seeing, she's been watching me. So she's my everything. She's my motivation. I do everything I do. I do for her. All right. Well, from one father to another, man. Best of luck. Thank you, man. Patrick. Hey, your is Patrick McCoy from Combat Sports. Okay, how are you doing today? Good. Very good, my brother. Great to hear. You know, it was a different opponent than originally scheduled. Uh, you were supposed to fight the defending champion. Will you have the same game plan going into this different matchup? I had a I had a, a game plan for for Ante. Then we switched it up a little bit for Gotsov because Gotsov was tall. He don't shoot double leg. It was all about outside trip. And he had a great jab and and better striker. And then we got now we got Danilo, which is shoot a lot of single leg. And get, he's really, really good jiu-jitsu, high level. He, he's notorious for putting people to to sleep. But, I mean, all the fights start standing, and 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 good luck taking me down. I'd love to hear that. Um, so you mentioned keeping the fight standing. Is that where you see your biggest advantages in this fight, then? Absolutely, man. I don't. I, I'm a, I respect mixed martial arts. He's a BJJ black belt. I am a blue belt. I'm not playing that game. I know he's really good on the ground. He's he put a lot of people to sleep by take his back and put to sleep. So he definitely have the advantage of that. I'm not delusion. I'm gonna keep the fight standing. I want to make him. I want to see if he can take my 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 hammers. Yeah. And uh, one last question for me. You know, in your last fight, maybe didn't have the ending anyone really wanted with the dislocated shoulder. If you did take any lessons from that fight, what were they? Yeah, it was a great experience, man. For for fight fight Junior Dusante was different. We 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 failed in the game plan. We we thought we were about to box with him. He he came up totally different. So he showed me that as a level on this game. He was a champion for a reason. And uh, and he 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 gave me something to work on. So I went back home and I worked. But he also gave me a little confidence that I know I went with him three rounds. I was there to fight. I never show up to lose fights. I show up always to win. So it was a great experience. Know that I can hang with one of the best to ever do it. Great to hear, man, and good luck on your fight. Thank you, man. Anik. Jorgen, Anik Subramanian Fightbook MMA. You're here smiling, spreading good vibes. Excited. You look excited to fight. What What makes you this optimistic, and is there anyone that influenced being such a positive person in the sport? No, man, I'm a... I'm, uh... I tell people all the time, people around me, kids in the gym, I'm a fighter by choice. I choose to be a fighter. Nobody forced me to be a fighter. So you shouldn't be miserable in the fight week. That's my choice. I, I I love fighting. I know how to fight. So nothing changed Friday. I know I know whatever my opponent is going to bring in the table. I'm ready for it. I, I put in the work. I'm ready. And I'm enjoying it. I'm privileged. You know, I, I get to do what I love and 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 same time make some money to to, to feed my family. So what else, man? I'm just grateful. Awesome, man. I'm really excited to see you fight. Good luck on Friday. Thank you, man. Joshan. Hey, Jose Montesino from Lucha Libre Online. How are you? Very good, my friend. So we've been seeing for the last couple of years that people are in the saying that PFL is not as elite as UFC. But when UFC fighters come to the PFL, 
they normally get surprised by the amount of talent and, and great fighters that are there. How do you see the PFL competition, the platform, and the company? I love the I love PFL and I always I think there's a, a very wrong uh, statement. PFL have really really good fighters because when you have a, a, a small pool of fighters, they all should be good. So there's ten in my division. There's ten heavyweights. I respect all of them. I think they're all very good. I also I'm not coming from from UFC right now. I'm coming for Eagle FC, and uh, I want to break that course. So when I when it come Friday, I want to go down there and win and and break that that course. The UFC guys come here and. and I see different things, but I love PFL. I think it's full of talent, and I'm I'm blessed to be here. Thank you. Curtis. Hey, Jorgen. This is Curtis Calhoun here with MMA News. Good to talk to you again, man. Uh, do you kind of see this as an opportunity to really prove that you're the man to beat at heavyweight with Ante pulling out, Dennis Goldsov pulling out? Do you kind of see this as an opportunity to? to really, you know, prove a point that you're the top contender? Absolutely, man. I think we should set uh, our first fight of the season is the one we're going to set the pace for the rest. I always say I, I, my goal was fight Ante and kick in the front door and show the guys, hey, I'm not one more guy. I'm here to stay. But I mean, we have different opponents, but my goal is the same. I want to go down there and win and win impressive and let people know that they, they, they better be watching because I'm coming for everything. You've always been a guy that likes to stay active too. How happy are you with the fact that you know when you're fighting ahead of time next and not having to worry about, you know, when am I fighting next? Who am I fighting and, and all that? I love I love the format, man. I think this is gonna be great for me because always after the fight, I know I'm gonna take time off and get in and, and put some extra weight and and do a lot of bad decisions. So now I know I have after the fight, I have to go straight to the gym, get better. And and then and, and the financial part too, you know, if you're gonna fight every two months, that means you have a check every two months. Less worry about that. So I I love PFL. I'm I hope I can end my career here in PFL. Appreciate, it, man. Thank you. Thank you, Lorenzo. Hi, Jurgen. Thanks for taking the time for us. Um, this is your first season in the PFL. Um, it's known that the PFL season format is fast paced, especially for those that advance in the tournament. I'm wondering, did that affect at all how you approached your training heading into this fight and heading into this 2023 season? Yes, we changed we change a couple of things. Uh, less sparring. I love sparring. You know, I like to spar twice a week, but we already put that to the side. So now I have to drill a lot of drills, a lot of heavy drills, a lot of condition. And most important, you got to stay healthy and make it to the fight. Because it doesn't matter if, you, if you're favorite or not. If you can't make it to the fight, you don't win. You you're gonna you're gonna left behind. So I want to stay healthy. I know how to fight already. It's about tuning in a couple of things and and stay in shape. Aside from obvious injuries that may or may not happen throughout the course of a fight or of a season, the fact that you might have uh, you know X amount of fights coming up this year does that also affect how heavy you train looking for a stoppage in these fights? Because I mean, I would assume it's counterproductive to take every fight into the third round, right? If you got three or four fights in a season. Yeah, I, mean, I never really, I, I always think I'm going to finish fights in the first round, first minute. That's my goal. Uh, I don't really want to do three rounds, man. That's, I, got, I, don't, I don't get paid by the hours. I want to try to finish really quick. My goal is first round all my fights. So that's what that's going to be my goal. Thanks, Jorgen. I'm excited to see your PFL debut. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Any last questions for Jorgen before we let him go? Going once. Jorgen, where are we going after you win? Do we like can I say that in the game? Let's go. We're going places. We go places. All right, guys, give me just a minute. We'll bring up uh, Julia Bud. Uh,